Thor News presents 1.7 mile potentially hazardous asteroid QE2 has a moon, bro. They are revealing through radar asteroid QE2, baby. And guess what we found out? It's got a moon. Yep, its gravity is found at a date, a companion, a celestial lover, if you will. You know what this means, don't you? This means a friggin' giant space rock could get a friggin' date girlfriend and I can't. But this isn't about me. This is about this giant asteroid, which will be making its pass past Earth at about 5.40 p.m. on May 31st, which is a Friday. So I would definitely pour yourself a margarita or a beer right at 5 o'clock hour. Now, it's not really coming close. 3.6 million miles. That's pretty far away. It's 1.7 miles across. Or nine times the Queen Elizabeth II ship. It takes about 5.3 hours to rotate, and it's got a bright little moon. They gave us a one wonderful picture of it. God, I love those moving pictures of celestial rocks. I wish we could get more of the cooler stuff. What they're doing is they're, they're bouncing their finagly. They're bouncing microwave. Yeah, that's what they're doing is they're taking microwaves, bouncing them out into space, bouncing them back off the rock, and then it's getting bounced back to us. And then we are getting these wonderful shot of asteroid QE2. And it's got a moon. It's got a moon. A cute little moon. She's a beauty, huh? You can see what he sees in her. They are a cute couple. Now, I don't believe there's pretty much any chance this thing is going to hit Earth, nor the moon, though I do think it's interesting. Some of the reports had said that this moon was covered in like a black tarry crap. Hmm, interesting. Well, what I do think is interesting is that an asteroid this size could be blocking their view. So if there is smaller stuff behind it, around it, there's a chance that that debris could hit Earth. No big deal. Kind of like in DA-14. They saw the big one and missed the medium to small one. So it's doom off, babies. You're going to have a good weekend. Um, Though, if we do get pelted with crap, well, like I said, this big old boy is probably blocking their view and they couldn't see anyways. Though if it hits a major city, then it goes back to my super conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat theory. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. They're tracking QE2. They got her under super radar. Things are looking good for the weekend. Oh, the weather is still weird. Does not look like this asteroid is going to hit us. But just be looking up in the sky just in case some of the smaller stuff comes through and makes it into our atmosphere. And remember, if it does, don't look up at the bright flash because that will give you a sunburn. Burn your eye. Okay, cool. Later, guys. Talk to you soon. Well, I guess. No, that's not true. A peace out. Uh-huh.